Well, I don't believe it. Look what's turned up. It's only me wood stove, isn't it? Hello, my name's Mel. Welcome to my world. And for those of you that are new to my channel, I'm currently turning this Mercedes Sprinter into an off-grid, go anywhere, sleep absolutely anywhere, kind of stealthy camper van. And today I'm going to be doing my bulkhead. Just going to finish that off. And I've got some other various bits and bobs I'm going to be doing as well. I'll kind of make this up as I go along. <laughs> I'm just going to make the most of the weather, it's actually stopped raining. So let's jump into it. For my bulkhead I'm just going to use a sheet of ply with a wooden frame and simply cover it with auto carpet. I'm not going to insulate it and I'll show you why in just a sec once I get it up there because I'm very limited to, on space. So uh, yeah, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to insulate it but I will be putting a door there as well. So from the cab side looking in it will just look like grey auto carpet and nobody would be able to tell it's a camper that's the idea anyway so this half of the bulkhead as you can see is already done this is fireproof board because this is actually going to become a fireplace i've got a little wood burner that's going to go there a cubic mini wood stove it's called coming all the way from canada and uh, i got the bill yesterday from customs and excise i had to pay another 72 pound just to get it past customs so but hopefully that'll be here within the next couple of days I can start fitting that, I'm really excited. But today, the bulkhead, as you can see, it's only half done, so I'll need to fill this side in as well. And I'm going to do it exactly the same as this, minus the fireboard. Right, so I'm just going to quickly knock that up, and then you, I'll show you why I can't insulate it, because it's very tight. So what I've done, I've cut this piece of ply to shape, and I've put this wooden frame around it. This side post here is my good old 34 by 34 it's the same timber that I use for my kitchen cabinet it's just a, a nice size to use for all my frames and yeah I always use this 34 by 34 I think it's just about the right sort of size for cupboards and various things like this so that's my bit of wood and basically it's just framed and originally I was going to put Celotex in this recess here and make it nice and thick and um, insulated but I can't do that because the passenger seat actually comes right up against this um, and it's level put that here. so the back of the seat is actually level with this post here so it's a real tight snug fit and there's no room for insulation I'll put this in place and I'll bring the camera around and I'll show you exactly what I mean there you go so that's what it's going to look like and before I fix it in place I'm going to put auto carpet the other side um, I'll pick the camera up and I'll show you how tight it is it's a real tight fit so this is what it looks like from the cabs looking in and as you can see this side here is nice nicely done it's got auto carpet on it and uh, yeah it matches the ceiling it looks really nice but this side on the other side here so I still need to cover this with auto carpet but before I do I just want to show you how tight it is if you look down the back the back of the passenger seat is right up against it so there's no room unfortunately for any insulation as you can see but once this is covered in auto carpet and the door as well i'm going to have a door going across there just a simple open and closed door with a yowl lock on it so when you're outside the van looking in all you're going to see is a gray background so it just look like a normal bulkhead that's the plan anyway so from outside nobody would know that it was actually a camper hopefully <laughs> but the chimney sticking out of the roof might kind of give it away but I've got an idea for, for that to make it a bit stealthy. We can go into that, that's another video completely. So, right, I'm going to get my auto carpet. I've got a massive roll of it. I think I bought a bit too much. So, I've got plenty left over. I'm going to cover this and uh, fix it in place. I've laid my auto carpet, good side facing down. This is the back of the carpet. Got some sawdust on it now, I've walked on it. So, it's good side, good side facing down, which means. That's a good fit. I need, let's think about this, right, it's a good size down, so the 
not so good side's got to go against there, so that means that lays on top like that. That's right, isn't it? Yep, 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 yep. Come on, I've done this a million times. So now that's down there like that, I simply mark it and then cut it out. Before I mark the pin. Mark it out, up there. Nice and big, I say you've got plenty to, to mess about with. You don't want to cut your carpet too small. creases in it because if you get creases in it now it's a real bugger to get them out when you go to actually use it so it's best to take a little bit of care fold it nice and neat just like you just like you would your sheets you minimise your chances of getting creases in it. Put it away so we're safe. And this is the bit we want. So put that up there. Size to fit on there. I'm going to put a couple of staples in it. Oops, set it on max. I look a bit cack handy when I do this because I've got a bad hand, I'm still waiting for my operation. <laughs> Just a couple. Then we can unfold it. Now I've got all the doors open in the van, I've got the back doors open, got the side door open, so I've got plenty of air coming through because this stuff that I've smelled.
So now we've got this side done, I just need to do the other side, which is going to be inside the van. So I'll just put that there for a minute. Have a little tidy up. You roll the carpet out again. Well, I don't believe it. Look what's turned up. It's only me wood stove, isn't it? And you can see how small it is. It's tiny. I absolutely love it. I can't believe it's actually turned up. Look at the amount of stickers on it. I've never seen so many stickers on a parcel. It's come all the way from Canada via the Netherlands. It's been to Amsterdam, believe it or not. Why it went there, I'll never know. But maybe that's why it took so long to get here. Now, I was so excited about this turning up. I forgot to film the rest of this <laughs> but nevertheless here it is this is what my bulkhead looks like we'll talk about that in a minute so I'm getting back to my bulkhead I'll bring you forward a bit <laughs> I'm really excited about that so my bulkhead is done you can see it's all covered it fits nice now I did do a little removable panel down the bottom I'll bring you down so that panel there because there's so much room behind the base of the passenger seat and this panel I thought I could make a nice little cupboard there and make a little drop down door um, and just use it for a bit of extra storage save all that space going to waste but because because my wood stove turned up I thought bugger it I just want to get it done get it finished so I've made a fixed panel there for now and later on in the year during the summer maybe if I get bored I'll um, go back to that and make that into a little cupboard but for now I just want to get this fitted so my next video is going to be all about me unboxing this and hopefully installing it but I do still need to wait for part of the flue to turn up there's one bit of the flue still not turned up just yet so as soon as that flue turns up I'll unbox this do a first burn video and all that good stuff <laughs> cubic mini wood stove brilliant